hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful lunch bag but before i continue i want to appreciate my returning subscribers and if today is your first time of stopping by please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my video share my videos and if you have any question or comment drop it in the comment box so i'm going to put you through on the cutting and sewing of this lunch bag so please make sure you watch this video to the end and you, as you watch don't forget to like so let's get started so this is the leather i'm using for this tutorial the side is measured seven by ten and a half while the main body is measured nine inches by 31 inches as you can see i've already cut out the cover of this lunch bag but don't worry, I will explain to you how I achieved that. So, what I did is, you can see the mark lines that I want to explain to you now. I measured 7 inches. You can see it, 7 inches. Then by the side, that opening there is 6 inches. Why is 6 inches? Is because we have 9 inches and I took one and half from both sides that gave me six inches so i shape it with one by one i connected it i measure one by one i connected it what i mean by one by one is i measured one inch this way one inch i measured this way again one inch then i connected the two points that is how i, I shaped it so that side there is one and a half by one and a half. So this is the side of the bag, which is seven inches by 11. This is the cover that I've already cut out. You can see it now. So now we're going to start the sewing. This is the lining. I've already cut it out. And of course, I've also cut out my foam, which is this. I've already shaped my foam. I use the leather to shape my foam. You see it? When you are cutting your foam, make your foam to be lesser than your main leather. It should be like one inch smaller than the leather in both length and width. So now we are going to start the proper sewing. So first, I'm going to get my lining, which is this. This is the wrong side of my lining. I will place my leather on it. Wrong side of my leather will face the wrong side of my lining. Then I'm going to sew on that cover area. I will sew it this way, this way, and this way. So this is what I have now after sewing it. You can see it. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I've already cut out that lining on the cover. So I will put my foam inside and arrange it very well. As, as you can see, I'm trying to arrange it well before I will sew. So after arranging it well, I'm going to start sewing it round. Sew it round. So this is it now. I'm done sewing it round. So I'll go ahead to cut off all the excess lining. I like making my lining to be bigger than my leather. If you have been following my, if you have been following me, you will notice that. So after trimming it, this is what I have now. You can see it. This is the lining. This is the main leather. So I'm going to keep it aside. I'm going to work on the cover. So this is the cover and that lining that I cut out that time. So I'll place it on it this way and sew it round. So after sewing it round, this is what I have. You can see it. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sew my handle to it. 
So first, I need to notch it, fold it equally this way. I will notch it to get the midpoint. But first, let me trim this excess so that I will be able to know where is exactly my my leather. Because this uh, lining is confusing me. So now I will fold it this way to get the midpoint. Arrange it, make sure that it's equal. So I'm going to notch it on this side. I will also notch it on the other side. Notch it. So you can see it now. This is the midpoint now. So now I'm going to sew my handle to it. I've already prepared my handle. So the handle I have here is 8 inches by one and a half in the in wideness i've already taped the two sides so you sew it to the cover the way i'm doing so what i did on this side i will repeat it on this side so this is it now this is my handle now so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to pipe it round i like piping my work but this piping it makes works to be very neat so i will pipe it round so after piping it round, this is what I have. You can see it. So the next thing now is to sew my zip cloth to it. So the right side of my zip cloth will face the right side of my leather. Then I will sew it round. So this is it now. So I'm going to pipe it with my bias belt. So I'm done piping it. This is what I have. So I'm going to separate the zip cloth now. So I need to sew it on my the main body of the lunch bag, which is this. So what I need to do, I need to fold it over to get the midpoint. To make sure that it's equal. Just watch what I'm doing. Is the form that is making it to be like that so you have to be careful so I will notch it then I will get the zip fold it over a, like this also to get the midpoint and notch it so now I'm going to match the two midpoints together right side facing each other the right side of the zip and the leather must face each other then see what I'm doing I'm trying to arrange it way to know where I will start sewing from so now I will start sewing my zip cloth. I'm done sewing it. I'm going to use my bias belt to tape it at once. So this is it and after piping it. So the next thing now is to fix the zip head. So I'm using double zipper. So we fix the zip head. Please, as you fix your zip head, make sure that it's, it's all the cover centralized. As you fix, you watch what you are doing. Or you can indicate the midpoint of both the cover and the leather. And fix your zip cloth, uh, zip head. Once the two midpoints meet together, you know that you did the right thing. So this is it. I'm done doing it. So I'm going to fold it over this way to sew it. But first, notch the middle. Fold it this way to get the midpoint. It's good to centralize it so that if there is any allowance, excess or shortage, it will it will balance on both sides. 
so i'm folding the other side also i will notch it so now i'm going to fold it right side facing each other make sure that the two midpoints are together so i will now sew it down So after sewing it, this is what I have. I've also taped it at once. So now, from that particular point that I joined it, from this point, I'm going to measure 3 inches. I'm taking 3 inches. And if you do the right thing, you will see that that 3 inches will fall at the center of that yarn handle. Because the center of that bag handle is the center of this bag. So I'll mark it. I will come to this side. I will do the same thing. If you measure three inches and it didn't fall on that the center of that handle, please use the center of that handle as your own midpoint. So now I'm going to notch the two points together. I will notch the two points. Sorry, I'm going to notch the two points. Notch it. So I will come to this side also. I will notch it. Then I will fold it over from that notch point. You know that notch point is the midpoint now. So I will fold it from that notch point. So that I will be able to get the down midpoint. When you fold it, make sure you arrange it very well. So that you will not notch at the wrong side at the wrong part so i've gotten my midpoint now i will notch it i will fold over this side also that midpoint is our set guide so i will arrange my bag leather very well I'm trying to arrange it very well so that our bag will not have issue after sewing it. So I will notch the midpoint here. So now that I'm done doing this, I'm going to keep this aside and work on the side. So the side is 7 inches by ten and half so i'm going i'm getting the middle point now so i'm taking down here i'm taking two and half inches two and half inches so i'm going to connect it what do you i'm connecting the point what do you i'm connecting it now so i've shaped it i'll cut it out now I will fold it over and use it to shape the other side. Trace it and cut it out. So now place it on the second leather and also trace it on the second leather to shape the second side. So I'm going to cut it out also. Then the damp part of the side, I also need to shape it. So I measured half inch. I'm going with half inch. Half inch by half inch. Just a little curve is what I'm giving it there. So I will just connect it this way. I will cut it out. So I will fold it over, use it to shape the second side of the of that particular leather. Now I'll bring the second side, place it on it and use it to shape it also. So this is it now. 
Son, I'm going to sew my belt to it. This long uh, belt is about 50 inches long. So I will just centralize it. I've already marked my midpoint. You can see it. I'll just centralize it there and sew it. So I'm trying to be sure that the allowance I have on both sides are equal. Then we sew. And when I get like one and a half inches up there, I stopped. So this is for this side. So now I'm going to get my lining and my foam. So I need to sew it together and also pipe it. And I'm going to pipe this side. So I will place it on my lining this way. You see it? Then I will bring my piping cord. I will start from the middle to pipe it. Or you can as well notch it the way I want to notch mine. Or you mark it with your chalk or your mark, uh, leather marker. Whichever way is okay. So I'm notching it. I'll place it on my lining this way. Then I'll bring my piping cord. I'll place it there and pipe it round. So after piping it round, this is what I have. So I did not complete it. I stopped at so, uh, somewhere so that I can insert my foam. So now you can see I'm inserting the foam. So after putting the foam, I will continue the piping. So this is it now after piping it round. So what I did on this one, I will repeat it on the second one. But the only difference is that the second one is going to carry my D-ring. And the length of the belt I cut there is 10 inches. So now we are going to sew the side and the main body together. So I will get my... This is my main body. This is the side. I have to notch the side. Fold it to get the midpoint. So I'm trying to fold it. Sorry, my camera cut it off. I didn't know. But what I did here is that I folded it into two to get the midpoint and notch it. You see it? Arrange it very well. Make sure that it's equal on both up and down. You see it? Then you notch. I'll notch it. So the side that has the belt should be on the cover side midpoint to midpoint i'll put it i'll match the down midpoint also midpoint to midpoint and then i'll sew it round so after sewing it round this is what i have so i will do the same thing on this side i'll get my side which is this so this particular place that has this d ring this one if I, I, I wanted to remove this, I said, no, let me do it on camera. So you can use the applier to remove it or anything. You can see that it's better this way. So this side that has this uh, uh, D-ring or adjuster, you put it on the cover side this way. I'll clip it down. I'll match the down midpoint as well. Then I'll clip it down. Then so now I will take it to my machine, arrange it very well, and sew it round. After sewing it round, I will tape it at once. I will also tape this side at once. So this is what I have now after sewing it and taping it at once. So now we are going to turn this lunch bag to the right side. So you open your zipper this way. You see the way I'm opening my Gently open your zipper. Gently, don't force it open. Just do it gently. So, I will now start turning it to the right side. So, guys, if you have watched this extent and you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so to support me. Like my videos, share my videos. 
Also, if you have any question concerning this lunch bag, drop it in the comment box. I will always come to the comment box to answer to all your questions. So I'm trying to burn the thread that I saw here. Burn it with your lighter. So this is our lunch bag now. If you look at this lunch bag, it doesn't have anything on it. This is based on customer's request. It's an adult that is using it. Say so it doesn't want anything on it. It wants it to be just plain so when you're making your house you can put cartoon character or anything that you want to design it with you just sew it at the front so guys the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to work on the belt as in to finish sewing the belt by fixing our adjuster to it and sewing it and when you are fixing your adjuster to the belt please make sure that it is not twisted watch your belt to be sure that it's not twisted because if it's twisted you will do double work so i'm trying to fix my adjuster to the already the adjuster to, to fix my belt to the adjuster so after fixing it you sew it so guys this is our lunch bag now this is what we have at the end of this bag so if you have watched it, this extent like i said i said earlier please subscribe to my channel and share my videos thank you for watching and god bless you all see you in our next video please you can join my community with a token you can support what i'm doing with a token you can give me st uh, stickers when I'm live, I'll start going live frequently now. You can support me, whatever that the Lord touches your heart to give me, please. You can support me. Thank you very much. Like I said, see you in our next video. God bless you all. Bye-bye.